I want to show you a quick demonstration of the Open Hybrid Cloud. Right now I have three data centers across three public cloud providers and three different geographies. If I dip out of the way a little bit, you should be able to see Sydney down here in Australia. But what I have is Amazon running in the United States, running in Ohio as an example, and you'll see Amazon pop up there. I have Azure running in London, and then I have Google running down in Sydney, Australia. And then I have OpenShift deployed across all three of these infrastructure providers, and I have the same application based on Knative in all three cases. Let's go and show you that application now. Let's get out of this diagram, come over here to the application, and just so you can see one thing right away, and that is the Scupper console. This is based on a technology called Scupper, where I have Amazon running over here, again, Azure, Amazon, Google, and if you look at the relative traffic, you'll see that it takes a certain load before you burst from cloud one to cloud two to cloud three. So most of the load goes to Amazon initially, especially since my workload and my application users are primarily in, in the United States. And then I'm also will burst out to Azure based on a certain amount of load, a certain cost associated with that, and then I'll burst out to Google. Let's kind of show you that now. I'm gonna run a, a simple transaction. I'll just put in my name put in a name and we'll say we want uppercased and reversed and send that request and then if you look at that request coming into the system you, what you'll see is it hits the Amazon component first and this is based on Knative this is based on the OpenShift console and there it is you can see that pod coming to life right at this very moment that's based on that request so this is using Knative as an autoscaler and of course Knative is uh, use, works off HTTP uh, from an autoscaling standpoint and you're gonna see there's my result in this case rub write my name backwards and uppercased. If I kind of take you through this too, you can see it is Amazon right here. So Amazon running right here, and then Azure running right here, and then Google. So these three different experiences are what you could use with if you use the straight uh, public cloud provider, but they're all very different, very unique skill sets, uh, very different ways of going about setup. But when you put OpenShift on top, from an application developer standpoint, they're the same. I can use my cube control commands, I can use Knative and Istio and all the different uh, Kubernetes technologies that are available to me. All of those are configured as operators within these OpenShift clusters, and I can essentially make it all the same same, which is the real benefit of using Kubernetes across all public cloud providers. And it would work on on-premise, on vSphere, on bare metal, or you could even run it out to the remote edge if you want. Well, let's see if we can actually enter a few more messages here and get a little bit more load going. I'm just going to pound in some messages real fast and see if we can get this thing to basically scale out a little bit more. There is the first cloud coming to life, again, based on my request, and it scales down to zero when there is no request to process. But I also have a little load generation tool, so let me see if I can actually apply a little bit of load, and we'll get it to actually overload cloud one and then set up on cloud two and then cloud three. Let's see if we can get a little bit more load into the system and I'll apply a bit more load using my load creation scripts. There it is, it's going now from Ohio out to London. All the, all the transactions are coming into Ohio, Amazon first, but based on overloading Ohio, overloading uh, Amazon, it'll burst out to Azure. And if we work it hard enough, we can get it to burst out to Google. So in this case, it went all the way, our transactions went from Ohio to London to, uh, to Sydney, just like that. And then of course, Amazon, as you can see here, right, Amazon, Azure to Google. So a simple demonstration of the power of the Open Hybrid Cloud, the same application running across all three public cloud providers. You can see it's starting to downscale now based on the fact that there's no more load going into the system. But that's a great example of what you can do with the power of OpenShift running across all cloud providers and of course taking advantage of unique things like uh, Knative and Scupper for doing dynamic load balancing across the entire globe.